Well, our our first two guests today have earned millions and millions and millions and millions of fans on social media. They competed on and won the amazing race. And now and now they've written a book about the challenges and the gifts of ADHD. Take a look. We need to focus yeah. and do the one thing that we're supposed to do. But there are so many other things we can do. Like what? Like figure out how to play the theme to Titanic on the recorder. Well, how long do you think that would... Well, that's pretty good. How did we figure that out so fast? Yeah, remember, we're sort of a genius because of this. Yeah, but for like really, really random, random things. <laughs> that's right. That's pen holderness. He and his amazing wife, Kim, have a new book out called ADHD is Awesome, a guide to mostly thriving with ADHD. <laughs> Audience, give it up for Penn and Kim, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. How you doing? We're, We're doing good, great. Man. Thanks for having us. I don't need those cards. Oh. I heard a rumor you guys uh, were at Target Center last night for Game Five we at the, the we Sorry Timberwolves, but yeah, fills the room. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, we enjoyed the cheese curds. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah. they're really good. Um, but you guys had an observation about us uh, as people. So they were down by 36, <laughs> and everyone was being so nice. They're like, like, oh, they're trying I, so yeah. hard. <laughs> they were. You know what? I, so I'm, yeah, I'm eating a burger, and this lady goes, "I'm so sorry, you're eating, but do you mind standing up?" I'm like, people are. So polite. Yeah. Even we in are. The face yeah. of we total are. Disaster. You are a nice yeah. people. I mean, we'll talk about you moments later, but I mean, <laughs> we are nice in the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> that's that Minnesota nice. Anyway, I love this. I, you know, Penn, I was talking, all jokes aside, I was talking to um, executive producer Jeff and Bjorn about this. We're about, we're all about the same age. And I'm so glad you wrote this, truly, because I believe I was reading this and saw a lot of myself a lot of myself and you. And do you think your life would have been different? Because we didn't, they didn't diagnose us when we were kids. What do you think about that? Do you think you would have, the trajectory of your life would have been different? I think I would have felt a lot less alone and a lot less ashamed when I was a kid. Um, it's tough being a kid with ADHD. It you is. kind of find your people when you get older and you find systems and you, and you get help to make it through until you're an adult. Um, but, yeah, as a kid, there was I felt lonely and I felt like there was something wrong with me and I wish I had the explanation. What was that the the catalyst for writing the book? Was that I mean, what what because you guys have done a lot. You, you've ventured into various areas of, of culture. What was the driving force behind wanting to do this? Reason one was that. Yeah. Reason two was as an adult, I uh, started uh, helping raise a family and I worked with my wife and a lot of stuff was falling through the cracks then. And um, I needed help. I'm <laughs> looking at my wife here. Yeah. Well, well, did yeah. you notice the yeah. sign? I mean, were you kind of like, hmm? Well, w to be clear, when we first started dating, I found all of the things that I fell in love with. Because how long oh, have you guys been together? 19 years. Plus dating. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And then, <laughs> <laughs> um, but all the, it was so charming. He was spontaneous and funny, and that was his ADHD. So I fell in love with that person. But he's right. Once you add kids to the mix, and once there, there was a lot of plate spinning, people would joke, "Oh, you have three kids," isn't? And I'm like, "I am not laughing. I do not want that." So I have to say, he really ste stepped up. He really has done the work to sort of put systems in place to make sure you know he's an equal partner. Other than, I mean, and if you. If this resonates with you, read the book. But for the people watching, because I know there's people watching that are that will connect with this like I did, what's one thing that you can tell them right now in this short TV segment that you want them to get out of this? Sure. So the the part of your brain that causes you to sometimes get fixated on things, wander a little bit, uh, not be able to finish conversations, that same part of your brain is what makes you incredibly creative could make you someone who invents something that no one else has ever invented because that wandering is how you create. I mean, your creative director at this show, Burke introduced himself to me as the guy who writes all these really funny like promos for your show. Um, he knows and I know that that doesn't happen unless you have this type of brain. So it's got, it's got good and bad. Oh, yeah, that just kind of hit me. Well, that's why I've always been afraid to like get diagnosed. I'm like, what if it mutes? What, you know, what if it mutes, like I'm obnoxious, but he could bring that down a little bit, but I mean, you know. But you did, um, you did a five year deep dive into this, didn't you? We did together. To, yeah. What was that process like for you to see him go through it? 
I, it was so eye-opening to me because I'll just be really honest and my son has given us permission to share this. He was also diagnosed and as a mom, even though I saw all the signs, getting that diagnosis, it was delivered as if it was a really serious medical condition. And so it, it was really, it was like a punch in the gut. And then we started to really uncover all of the gifts, not toxic positivity. It's still very hard, but once you kind of get those systems in place, we now see the gift. So honestly, that research changed everything for me. Did it? I can imagine for you, was it like a series of questions in front of your face floating in the air that you suddenly had answered? Mm -hmm. Why was he doing this in 97? 100%. Why was he doing this? Was it like a jackpot that, of like, oh, now I understand. That part of the brain, like the working, me like it, it things aren't stored in his working memory the way they are stored in my brain. So like I would find his keys in the refrigerator and I'm like, how yeah. the heck did it, because he wanted food and so yeah. that part of his brain turned off and the keys went there and he doesn't even remember it. So I know now that's just how his brain works. He's not doing it on purpose. ADHD is an explanation, not an excuse. I love that, He's, I love that. Yeah, it, so it just gave me an explanation of why I was always finding the milk in the pantry, so. Where, did it hit you, because it hits me, where you'll get very excited about a project. You're smiling because you know where I'm going. <laughs> you'll get very excited about yeah. a project. You work on it for like um two really exciting hours, and then you're like, <laughs> Letterman's on. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, you know, going to go watch Oprah. <laughs> or, it, it, does that resonate with you? Yeah, the, so the ADHD brain is like an open-air concert where like <laughs> every, every, it's like Coachella. Like everybody gets in. There's weather. There's wind. Um, the neurotypical brain is like a VIP room with a bouncer, like that's your executive functioning. It, <laughs> it, it says, like, and look, some people like those places. Yeah. Um, but you know, they, they, you, this can come in, this can come in, this can stay out. There's yeah. a lot but of half finished our, products, yeah. a lot of ladders left yeah. in the living room, a lot of yeah. like wet paint brushes but left outside. It's, it's also yeah. the ability. I'm always, I'm sorry to be the the eternal optimist, but it's always the this, it's also the ability to discover so many things. Mm -hmm. You know, you moving on to that other thing, you just discovered something new. Yeah and you're just hoping that you'll eventually finish. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah. You're hoping that, yeah. Okay, uh, we have so much more to talk about the amazing race. Uh, I consider you the first family of viralness. Uh, that's not even we a word, I don't think. I mean, yeah, like yeah it, they're not viral, they're not, they don't have viruses, contagious. you know what I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. More with the fam when we come back. Back in a moment, everybody. Do you hear that couple fighting over there? When I'm married, I'm not gonna let little things bother me. Do you always breathe like that? It's a lot. It's very... <gasps> it is hard to concentrate on my book with you breathing. Do you want to go sleep in the other room again? A lot of happy, happy couples sleep in separate rooms. When I'm married, my husband and I will... Yeah. I agree with that one. More with Penn and Kim. Holderness. The first family of online viralness. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did you guys meet? Uh, in, in a bar. bar. <laughs> well, we both. It's a great place to meet people. Uh, we, yeah. we were I knew you were my people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We were both working in local news, in truth, and local news gets out, you know, after uh -huh. the 11 o'clock news. Uh -huh. And so we were working at opposite stations. We met in a bar afterwards. Oh, you were competitors. We were. Okay, let me move. There's just so much to get to, so I just, I, I want to dive into more deeper, but we don't have time. Okay, let me skip to the next thing. And that is, when did you guys know? Because I really do consider you the first family of viral hits. When did you know that, oh, we're big? Like this is like the videos are catching on. I mean, it took, so our first video, the, the Christmas jammies video, yeah. like that people were like driving by our house and like strange emails, like all that was. <laughs> Your wife's very pretty, like that sort of, but in a different kind of <laughs> format. Um, so, but that's, that, that was, yeah, yeah. That was just one video. Um, and it took us several years to learn that, like, we should do this or could do this for a living. Okay, but let me um, give you a compliment. Kim, it wasn't, the gays liked you, Penn. Let me just, I mean, uh, right. uh, it that's wasn't fair. just people thinking thank Kim was pretty. Yeah, I, thank you. I, yeah. I was at oh. headquarters back then, and, and you were mentioned. Okay. Yeah. I like the um, can I the gays. I like the gays. You <laughs> yeah, love yeah, the gays. Yeah, I'm giving yeah. permission. Yeah. Don't worry okay. about yeah. it. We're good. You're safe. No, but uh, you that pajama right away because I remember seeing it going. Who are these people? 
Yeah, and it was it was a strange time <laughs> on the internet, and, yes. and it was one of those things where I think that it, it it was a time when local news and national news didn't really know how to treat the internet. Yep. So so we got very lucky. We got very lucky. There's a lot more talented people out there that are just now starting. I think we accidentally hit the internet at the right time. I think people are worrying about this. Uh, you guys have done such a great job. Let me compliment you with this question. How, uh, what is the trick to make balancing it out of like mm -hmm. putting your family out there, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm gonna say and ask, right. but making sure like the kids are okay with this. Right. Well, so first of all, uh, we're, we're gonna screw up our kids. Every, <laughs> right? Everyone's, everyone's gonna screw up their kids. We, yeah. we don't know how we've done it yet necessarily, but it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Um, they like they're they're grown up now. They're very different from that first video. They are young adults and they can make any decisions they want to for themselves. Um, they have turned into amazing kids. It doesn't mean that there haven't been tough times where you know someone yeah. at school's like shown a video and they felt either shame or embarrassment or just like a little uncomfortable. But what my daughter told me recently, which made me cry, was that she knows that I took this path because I was working in local news before and I never saw them. And this gave me more of a chance to see my kids. So I just, that's, yeah. great, man. that's great. I will yeah. also say for the record, yeah. we have paid them and yeah. we always pay them. Yeah. And so they, they get a paycheck and they, they know if they want more, they're coin operated. So they'll be like, can we be in a video? Like they're, they're low on cash. <laughs> coin operated. They're, they're, they're low yeah. on yeah. cash and they're like, so any videos coming up yeah. I can be in? So, <laughs> and, I mean, would they you, know, man. Would oh, yeah. you rather mow a lawn or appear in a video. It's like they, it's a job. And yeah. so, yeah. The amazing race. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was that? We have about a minute left. What mm -hmm. was that family meeting like? Did you put ground? If you're going to do it, yep. did you say, okay, we're going to do it, but X, Y, and Z? Very quickly, we weren't sure if we wanted to go. Our daughter Lola got, she got in our face and said, what are you going to remember? Some random February or the time you went on the amazing race? Oh, Lola. She basically yeah. pushed She's us out the door. Yeah. And we also yeah. said we knew that it wasn't necessarily going to help what we were doing. And we're longtime fans of the show. It's our favorite show. We love it so much. We, want, we wanted that life experience. We knew it wasn't going to like, we didn't do it to like help what we were doing, but we knew it could hurt us if we behaved poorly. So oh. we were very, very careful of how we treated each other. That's how we are in real life. Yeah. But we knew that the people who fight and bicker are, are it, it, it's not a good look. So no. we were very, you know, careful. I, I, I take this as a, the compliment that I mean it as. Uh, 10 years of this show, uh, and I can always tell when there's a great guest when I know I could fill the entire hour talking to him. Uh, <laughs> you two are on that list now. I just, you guys are fantastic. I really appreciate it. The book, ADHD is awesome. Give it up for Ben and Kim, everybody. They have a, they have a book signing at the Mall of America. Yes, today. 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 Uh, it's happening at four o'clock if you're here in the Twin Cities area in the Rotunda. Stephanie Hansen, when we come back. Back in a moment, everybody.